Have you ever asked yourself this? What would you do if you were caught in the middle of a zombie apocalypse? Would you know how to collect the right stuff, the right materials, and know how to use those materials to help you survive in 7 days to die? My name is Brotacular13, and I'm here to show you how to survive your first night and possibly the rest of your life here in 7 days to die. I'll be showing you the tips and tricks of how to build, craft, and use tools to help you survive in this unforgivable game. But it won't be easy though. Throughout your journey, you'll run into many obstacles that will slow you down and even possibly kill you. I'm going to be trying to survive this unforgivable environment every day and every night until I die. So come along for the journey as we try and conquer this unforgivable environment of the land of the dead. This is... Man versus Apocalypse. Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever episode of Man vs. Apocalypse. I'm your host, Brotacular13, and today we're going to be surviving our first day here. And, uh, there is a zombie over there. Yep, he's just trotting along. I'm just going to search this box real quick while he's doing that. Nope, I don't need a home maintenance book because I don't really plan on, um decking up my home anytime soon, because I'm kind of an apocalypse. <laughs> oh, weapon repair kit. Oh, yes, I'm going to take that. Thank you. And let's check the corpse. And good. Alrighty, so we just spawned here. Uh, they always spawn you near a car and some backpacks in uh, your first ever time in the game, which is a good thing, because I would not like to look for some supplies. And uh, today, I guess we're going to be starting off the episode. Oh. Yes, please. And a hunting rifle bolt. Yeah, and a mining helmet. And a wooden club. Okay, that's awesome. So I just got lucky here, and I got a whole bunch of stuff for me. Thank you. I'm going to put that on. Thank you. I look sexy with that. Alrighty, so I got a club to defend myself. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a, uh, a stone pickaxe. Uh, that's going to require some grass, rocks, and sticks. Um, and the cool part is is that I just spawned in the snow part, which is honestly my favorite part of the place because it has blueberries, grass, sticks, stones, and it has a whole bunch of trees. And also the zombies, I believe, are a bit slowed down in the winter time uh, in this game. I'm not too sure. People, Maybe some people will disagree with me. But I believe that they're a bit slowed down uh, in the winter. So I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of grass. This is key because this is what's going to help you build a whole bunch of stone axes and also there's a cool thing about stone axes is that you don't have to make like 10 or 20 of them because they will break eventually oh i just yep that's zombie saw me all right well he's too slow for me so i'm just gonna keep on grabbing some rocks here i'm gonna need a couple of those yep all right grab that grab that grab that and this one and this one. And grab a stick. Thank you. I'm lucky. Because <laughs> I got this little club thing. Usually you have to bash it with your hands and it'll take a couple hits. But um, thankfully I got this club. So I'm going to explain some of the things that I'm grabbing here. Oh, feather. Thank God. Alright, so uh, you can see that I'm grabbing some empty cans and feathers. Basically the feathers are to make um, arrows for a crossbow. Because I am going to be making a crossbow. And, oh, thank God, blueberries. This is the other thing that I love being spawned in the um, winter time is that you can pick blueberries in this map, which is awesome because they bring up your hunger and they bring up your uh, thirst level. And they just, they're, it's all around good snack to be eating on the road, especially in the apocalypse. I mean, come on, man. What else are you going to be eating? Five-star dinner? <gasps> oh, that's a pig. Now, <laughs> The first thing people would do in this game is go after the pig, like I did when I first played this game. But actually, you don't want to go after the pig right now, because if you grab the pig, um, you're going to have the meat on you, and it actually attracts more zombies. And by the time you start setting up a camp, uh, the zombies have all followed you there, and you have an entire horde coming after you. Uh, I played a game uh, with my friend on the server, and uh, he brought back one piece of meat, and we had an entire horde coming after us, and um, we didn't survive the night. So... Uh, yeah. Recommendation is don't pick up the meat until you have a storage thing to store it in. And I will show you guys how to do that in probably not this episode. Probably in a future episode. Alrighty, so we seem to come to a little town. 
huts might make an okay place to set up, but usually there's a lot of zombies around town, so if I'm going to take this place, I gotta make sure I get rid of all the zombies, and there's a lot of them coming after me. Uh, yep, see, it's locked. Don't think I'm gonna be able to break through this in time, because this thing doesn't do much damage. Nope. All right, let's see if we can go around... Maybe there's a place. I'm going to pick more blueberries. <laughs> I freaking love blueberries in this game. They give you four blueberries each, too. So by the time you pick, like, 20 of these, you have a whole bunch. Let's see if there's a door I can get in. More blueberries over there. Nope, it's locked. Oh, I might be able to break through the window, actually. Yep. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's zombies. Awesome, awesome. Ah, oh, okay. I just jumped. That just scared the crap out of me because they try to break in here too. Okay, let's try to get upstairs. Okay. Uh, okay, let's try to crouch and hopefully they won't come in here. I'm going to try and craft something real quick that won't allow them to come up here. Ooh, they sound pissed off. Ooh, this is not a good idea. I'm just going to grab my stuff and... <gasps> nope, they don't see me. They don't see me. I'm undetected. Okay, but there is a lot of them here, guys. Uh, this is not a good situation to be in. Because I don't have anything to... Oh, no, no, never mind. Never mind, they're up here. Never mind, I'm out. Later, noobs. Ah, uh, oh, God, that hurt. Oh, gosh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, screw you guys. Ah. Uh, I hate zombies. They may be a little bit slower here, but they are freaking relentless. No matter what. I'm doing the normal mode too, so <laughs> they're they're on normal. They're gonna do whatever they want. Yep, that's cool, guys. We're cool, right? Just gonna come this way. Oh shoot! No. Nope. Let's check the map real quick. Uh, I'm not sure right now. Not too sure. I'm just gonna keep heading this way. Oh, I broke a bone. Shoot, I just noticed that. It's gonna affect my running a little bit, but I should be fine. Just a can. Alright, we gotta find a place to settle down. Get some wood. Because I am not finding any suitable structures right now. While I'm at it, I am going to snack on some berries. <laughs> and while I'm snacking on berries, I'm gonna pick some berries as well. Go away, zombies. I don't need you right now. Come on, give me those. I need all the berries. Berries are freaking amazing. Because they bring up your freaking hunger and your thirst. God, there's just zombies everywhere. What I put this on? Freaking hard? I put it on easy. Whatever. I'm a survival expert. I'm here to show you guys what to do and how to survive this unrelenting place. The club is almost used out. That means that I'm going to have to make a axe soon. Nope, don't need that sandwich. I do not need that sandwich. Hopefully I... Oh, there's a house over there. There's a house right there. That might be a suitable structure because it's not big, which means there aren't going to be a lot of zombies around it. Now, if I'm undetected... Oh, there's a dead deer over there, too. Oh, God, it's locked. Ooh. Oh. Actually, I might just lem destroy that. Just so I can get in there. Ooh, I don't want to be caught by that one. I'm just going to wait for him to destroy that door. Good. Yep, hello. Hi, I'm just going to kill you so I can get in that house. Okay, no, nope, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, okay. I got hit. I got hit. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Okay. I'm good. These are the brutes of the zombies in this map. Ugh. I do not recommend doing this, by the way. I recommend trying to find a place before you take on this many zombies. I'm doing it because I'm going to be running out of daylight soon. And it's not exactly working. More blueberries, though. 
Oh, and awesome. We're right near a water source. I need to take this place because I have a good wa uh, water source here. Blueberries. But there is a lot of zombies here. It's just too much for me to handle. If I can get into a place like this without them being able to get in, I'll be good. Hi, excuse me. Just going to see if the door is unlocked here. Don't mind me, though. Nope, it's locked. Great. Nothing's ever unlocked in this game. Probably going to be locked, too. Yeah, locked. Oh, and there's a ton of zombies in there. Great. Oh, awesome. That door is unlocked. And it has a fireplace, too. Okay, that is perfect. We just need to get away from these zombies so they don't see me anymore. All right, I just got undetected. But I can still hear them walking around everywhere. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to get into that house undetected. Actually, this might be a good time to make a stone axe. I can show you guys how to do this. And this will become very helpful for you. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the grass in the middle. That will create plant fibers. That's going to take a little bit. So I'm not going to do the entire thing right now. Plus I don't want to get caught by these freaking zombies. And then you're going to want to put your small stones and create sharp stones. So I'm just going to make five. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is right in here you're going to want to type in stone and axe. And see, it will show up right here. When you click in, it will show you what you need. You're going to need one stick, one plant fiber, and one sharp stone. So I'm just going to put two of each on there so I can get two. Because there's a lot of zombies here. It looks like I'm going to have to kick some zombie butt. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. And just for the time being, I'm going to put my first... And no, I don't need it right now, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go back there. And if I run into the zombies, I'm just going to kill them. And actually, I'm going to cut some wood first. So I can put up my barricade. Because these zombies aren't just going to go away. They're actually going to get worse as the night comes on. So I'm going to cut myself some wood. So I can build myself some barricades and some stuff that will keep me protected from the zombies. They're all over there to my right. So I got seven wood logs. I'm just going to cut down one more tree. And I'm going to create some planks. It's 12.52 right now. Oh, great. They saw me. Which one saw me? Yep, you did. Great. Or one behind me. Yep. Hang on. Just let me cut down this tree. Hey, so they saw me. Great. Hey guys, what's up? Really need to take this house. This house will make a perfect place. So I think I'm just gonna murder all these zombies. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your stone axe. Basically, aim for their heads. They're actually very easy. Just keep a safe distance away. Hit them and then back up. And keep hitting them on the head because that really kills them fast. If you just hit them anywhere else, it doesn't really do anything. So this is actually going down really fast. I'm surprised. Except the whole horde come in. I don't like that. Good. Don't come up behind me, please. I need to murder you all, please. I don't like two going on me. Come on. Oh, I'm going up the stairs. Shoot. Okay. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. She looked Asian, by the way. Just gonna point that out. I don't know. I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Get my mind off that I'm facing like three zombies at once with very minimal gear. Because I usually have a crossbow when I take on a horde like this. And it's usually much easier. Awesome, I took them all. Except there's more. Nope, there's more coming. Great. Thought I was safe. Thought I was... Oh, hello. You just came out of nowhere. Don't do that, please. That's not very nice. Treat your elders with respect. All right, I'm just going to kill them all. There's no point of hiding. I'd rather get rid of them all when the night comes than have them try and sneak up on me in the middle of the night. Because when they're like this, they get crazy. They literally run after you. Oh, there's an elk back there. That's cool. Okay, there's none in here. 
I'm gonna get in. Awesome. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do before I start checking out all the stuff is I'm gonna put the log in here and create a bunch of wood planks. Yeah, that's gonna take a little bit. I still have a broken bone. Don't know how to fix that. I'm still learning this game as much as you guys, if you guys are actually watching this to learn how to play this game. I'm not a complete expert. I say I am, but I'm still kind of in the middle. But I am here to teach you guys. Alright, so the next thing you're going to want to do is do a secure wood door. And that's going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wood planks to create this. Now, basically, this is the door that's going to lock. It's not very powerful. If an entire horde comes after you, you're going to be kind of in trouble. But it should create some safety for me through this night. Um, keep me protected from these zombies. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is create spikes. What spikes? Yeah, all right. This is going to... I don't have enough sticks yet. Uh, let me just put some planks there. I believe that's how you do it. Sticks. Yeah, sticks. Yeah, I was doing it right. Okay. Create a couple of these so I can create some spikes. Basically, what these will do, they will kill the zombies and also slow them down. This will help me a lot. Because <laughs> there is a lot of these freaking guys, as you can tell, by the entire horde coming after me. So let's do... Shoot, what was it? Wood spikes. Okay, you're going to need one, two, three, oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. There you go. And this is going to give you three wood spikes, so it doesn't just give you one. I hear a zombie walking outside. I, you never feel safe in this game, ever. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to put that down for a second so I don't put it on myself by accident, because this thing will kill you right away. Uh, right, what I'm going to do is, since i got a porch, this is actually perfect. Actually, I might get rid of these stairs just to minimize the chances of them getting up here for the night. So, uh, I am actually going to take these down for a second before I put down my spikes. This might take a while, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so I've chopped down my stairs. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my traps. One, two, three. So that should minimize the chances of them getting up here. Although I am going to create one more trap, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So what you're going to want to do is type in spikes again. And it's going to be called a, not a spike club, a wood log spike. And this is stronger than those last things. So you're going to want to put down one, two, three, four, uh, four logs and craft them. And these things are ginormous freaking things. I don't want to mess with these things. So four. And see how big that is? Look how ginormous that thing is. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is to minimize the chances of them coming to get me more. Let me just make sure. Because I need a way out of here as well. Hmm. You know, usually I just I might just be able to jump over there and I'll create something. So what I'm going to do to minimize the chances is put... One. Uh, it looks like that protects the entire area. So... I'm just going to put one there for right now. I usually put down more uh, barricades during almost near nighttime. So I'll probably do that. I'm going to eat some more berries. Because these things are freaking lifesavers. Because you want to save up your food in this thing. So I haven't checked out the cabin yet. We got a bed, uh, bookcase, chairs. And the best thing is we got a fire here. I'm so happy that there's an automatic fire here. Because these things are freaking hard to make but the only problem is you do need some cooking materials to be able to boil water and cook food so uh it might not be helped to me unless i can get an iron thing and since there's only five six seven hours left of the day i don't think i'm gonna be able to get myself something from the other houses we might do that in the next episode but for right now i'm just going to see what we have here and uh oh medicine cabinet i didn't even know that grain alcohol First time seeing that. I don't know what that does. I'm kind of afraid to drink that, but um, we'll see what happens. I guess I'll drink it in one of these episodes. <laughs> All right. Um, see, we got an old bed. I'm going to stand up now. We got an old bed. This is good because this will save my um, spawn point. So in case I do die, uh, I can respawn. Hopefully I won't die because I don't want to die. So I'm going to put that right there. So now I'm automatically saved there. In case I die, I'll spawn right there. 
Uh, oh, we got a hunting rifle stock. Awesome. And we got a hunting rifle bolt. So a can of dog food. That's like, that's like if I'm really dying, then I'll use that. I'm going to put this in there. And I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to put that in there. Okay, and we're going to take the hunting rifle stock. So hopefully we'll have a gun eventually. I don't like guns usually because I don't really like to attract zombies. But it is good in case you need an emergency. Ammunition Nation book and uh, home maintenance. So basically those books can help you learn to craft. Hello, corpse. You got nothing for me. You guys never have anything for me. Wooden chairs. Helpful. Search cooler. Awesome. Another bottle of water. Fantastic. Empty can. Awesome. Cupboard. Awesome. Chicken ration. Actually, finding a lot of good stuff. Glass jars. Actually, one thing I am going to do tonight is go... Oh, yes! We got it. Cooking pot. Thank God. This thing is a lifesaver. So, actually, I might be able to show you guys how to boil some water tonight before it gets dark. Well, we got a lot of water, actually. How much do we got? One, two, three bottles of fresh water and some alcohol. I will organize this thing eventually. Just not right now. <laughs> Coffee beans. I hear someone yelling. Ooh. There's a zombie out there, I think. Somewhere. I can hear him. I don't like these windows. The windows don't really protect you at all, so... Gotta crouch down for the night. Um, so I really don't want to leave. <laughs> what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put... Cooking pot. And that will... Be good. I got some fuel here. Alright, and what I'm gonna do is... For tonight, I'm gonna put... My water alcohol in here. I'm also going to put all my food in here. That way, in case I do die on the off chance, I'll still have everything. Kind of chilly. I actually got a lot of stuff. I'm pretty happy. Um, also going to put my health stuff. I'm actually going to bandage myself because I still do have a broken leg. I think the bandage should just get rid of that. I'm going to put it on. Hopefully that will help me. Uh, this still This counts as food as well. I got a lot of blueberries, man. <laughs> I am happy. I'm a happy camper tonight. I'm going to have a full belly. I'm going to be happy. And we got eight jars. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to get some water and boil it. Because finding water in this game is kind of hard. So I'm going to show you guys how to boil some water. We should be good. All right, so what we're going to do is, if I can remember how to do this correctly, we are going to put couple logs on here and put the murky water in there and cook and that should make us eight clean and ready to drink waters in two minutes so I will see you guys then meantime while that's cooking I thought I'd also show you guys how to fix your axe so obviously I made two but I like to keep two in my inventory so if you want to fix this uh, all you have to do is take I believe a stone and actually I'm going to put all the stones because it depends on how many stones you put to the how much it gets fixed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft and now I got a fully restored axe here and it only used like one stone so now I got a fully repaired axe and I'm good. So while we're waiting for the water to boil, I thought I'd just talk to you guys. Since it's becoming almost the end of the episode, I just want to hear from you guys what you guys think of this uh, series so far. What do you guys like? What you guys don't like? What you guys think uh, I should do for this series? And uh, what you guys want to see more of? Uh, mostly I'm doing this as a kind of a fun tutorial type of thing for those who actually want to learn how to do things in the game and also just for people who are interested in kind of survival type games because uh, I loved watching that when I was a kid and um, I just always found it fascinating also one thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna create my crossbow if I can so crossbow I think I can I think I can I think I can <laughs> no one two three awesome and plant fibers so you guys saw that you need sticks and plant fibers and you should be able to create a crossbow yeah it's that easy no you don't need anything else it's that easy that's how you make a crossbow just sticks and fiber <laughs> alrighty so I got my stuff here for my crossbow bolts and it creates one at a time sadly so it only depends on how many uh, how much stuff you got so obviously I have more sticks than I do stones and feathers so uh, that's where you go to bird nests or just regular rubbish and you'll find feathers. And the stones you can just make um, by finding them. And the sticks you get from wood. 
and I got 18 crossbow bolts which will be good and another thing I want to note is to use these you actually have to have it in the um, the thing right here or else it won't work so I'm just gonna move this this is gonna be my weapons thing and crossbow and R to reload and now we got a fully functioning weapon that makes me happy and we got our eight bottles of water ready awesome and that will go out eventually so I'm gonna put that in here 11 balls of water that is awesome and the cool part is every time you drink it um, you save the jars so I can just keep refilling and it will be awesome so when I'm ready to leave this place uh, we should be good I'm gonna drink my water right now glug 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 awesomeness I'm actually really happy right now I'm happy I got all my stuff don't think there's anything else I'm gonna be doing in this episode not too sure yet. I'm just going to make some more wooden planks. Because it's almost night time. Just two more hours. Just two more hours. Maybe eat a few berries. We can talk about each other's feelings right now. We can talk about how you think this episode's going. No, no seriously. Go, go ahead. Talk right now. Go. Uh-huh. Okay, that's interesting. It's good. Feed feedback. Feedback. I love, I love feedback. All right. So we got our wooden planks now. And actually, I'm going to set up the last of my defenses right now. Because I don't feel safe. Because this door does not last forever. As much as it looks freaking unpenetrable, it's not. It's not against these freaking things. They are freaking ravenous monsters. Okay, so that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Well, what I can do is I can put one here. One here. And one here. So basically, once I do that, uh, I'm not going outside anymore because it's almost impossible to get around those and I'm just going to get hurt. I still have a broken bone. That kind of sucks. And I think this is where I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. I kind of like, I like this. This is nice and cozy. And I won it fair and square. I killed multiple zombies to get here. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. And tomorrow, I think we will head over to those other cabins over there, see what they got to offer. Maybe they got some more jars, I can make some more water. And uh, after I've kind of rummaged this place, we'll head off and uh, we'll see where this adventure takes us. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember to give it a like if you enjoyed. And as always, guys, I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys!